Okay, welcome back to my Let's Play of Vista of an Emperor. So it took uh, so many days for me to uh, record another episode, but I had some technical issues. But uh, hopefully I got them fixed. My internet went out for a week. Do you know how long that is in internet time? That's seven days. <laughs> Apparently I'm a moron. Yeah, but uh, it stuff wasn't recording. I was getting horrible feedback. So I was like, I'll just scrap these uh, few episodes since it's early enough and I can just restart. So let's get going. Let's see. When and at the beginning of the game, once you save it and whatnot, it takes you back here. Yeah, as you can see, I have a lot of experience, it's at eight. I'm just doing stuff just so I can get back to the recording. But let's go on, explore the rest of uh, the castle. Let's see, yeah, uh, Zuzo, Castle. I don't know if I'm mincing this right. Let's go. Strongo Warlords. Funny you should mention that. Let's see. Nice hat. Measy. It's actually supposed to be Mizuzu, Z H U, but what can you expect? This is translated from Chinese to Japanese to English. <laughs> it's not always going to flow. 100% correctly in this game. Let's check this guy out. Hey, not bad strength for the area, and he has a lot of intellect. And six tech points. I mean, I'll probably make him the strategist once I start getting tactics, but for now, I want to give him the dagger. I could give the dagger to Lube and give Mizi the uh, flail, but I don't think it's worth it currently, because, well, Blue Bay would be, instead of doing like his 15 of 22, he'd be doing like closer to 10 to 12. While um, EZ will be doing like 6 with the flail and 4 with the dagger. It's like, that's too much a drop. Let's see, I'm gonna call this the Eerie. Basically, what we're going to do here is you can check out people, just like with general, that's with staff people. If you recruit them, you don't have an open spot for them. New members will you add them if you have less than 7. The late member lets you take one out. Goodbye, Sung Young. And we also have the option of using fire. We will set them on fire. No, not really. <laughs> Basically, we fire him, he's no longer on our side, so we'll run into him out on the on the world map. Kind of like going around to that general hands on. Stuff like that. Let's see. Hmm. That goes to the north. Okay. This is where you can buy food. As you can see, like, 300 food for 100 gold, or money. I'll be using them interchangeable, I'm just used to say gold. So, I only buy a little bit right now, once I start getting low, but that's because of other reasons. But we'll get to that. Let's see. Yep, strong in the front, weak in the back. It's kind of like I have it set up. I have it going from most at the top, and then less as I go down. I believe that's descending, but... I just rather be careful about that kind of stuff. Because sometimes it's not always worth it. Let's see, weapon shop. I could buy weapons, but I don't think it's that important right now. Two types of armor, headpiece, and then chest pieces. Once I. Uh, money's not too hard to come by right now, but I will end up buying armor later on, because I don't think it's that important right now. If you want to buy some now, because this is your first time playthrough, it might be a good idea. Okay, this is the item shop, so a place where you can sell things. Let's see, Elixir A, I believe that gives you like about 100 soldiers back. It's not bad to have early on, but I don't think I need it. Whereas rags, if you die, you have to keep your phoenix down. Just keep in mind that you'll come back with 400 soldiers. So if you have over 400 shoulders, yeah, shoulders, soldiers, 400 guys, then that's what we'll do. So if you have like a like 800, you'll only come back with 400. Steeds, we'll go into that a little bit later, but basically if you run into a guy and he's like, Hey, I'll join you if you give me a really good horse, that's what you need. Supposedly it can raise your agility, that is a hidden stat in this game, but eh, I'm not overly worried about that and going. Let you teleport between the towns you've been to. Let's see around. Let's see. 
Yep, you have to equip them. As you saw in the last episode I did, I got into one battle outside of town. If I did not have it, that would have really sucked. And this one, building's empty. C. Baylor, yeah, as H. C. Baylor would say, it's nothing. <laughs> you should check him out. It's pretty good. He actually uh, influenced me a lot. I'm going to try and not rip him off, but I really do like the guy. Let's see. Welcome, welcome. People like me. <laughs> mm, let's see. Oh, too fast. Tell Kian. See, yes, I want to stop the old scars. And you're dying. You have nothing there. Oh, you will make me the heir. So, not only will I bring peace to land, but I can be king. That's extra incentive. Yes, I want to stop them for justice. Who wants to be king? Extra paperwork. <laughs> okay. Okay, basically I just should not town. What I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to go outside, fight around for a bit, gain a level, I'll show you what I learned at the next level, and we'll go from there. Okay, welcome back. Let's see now. And we have just gained a level. Let's see, Guan Yu and Zhang Fei both have more troops now. Just so you know, only certain generals will gain troops in this game. Everyone else is static. Anyone that you get that does get more troops, I'll refer to them as Tiger Generals. Okay, three people. Those are the three people mentioned, Liu Bei, Mizi, and Song Ren. They are the people that can learn tactics and you can set them as a stretch. What I'm going to do here temporarily is make Mizi it. Okay, uh, let's see. It's nine. Lube has 13, and that's max TP that that character has. The thing is, I could make Lube it, because he has more, but I want him at the top because he can be a meat shield. But as soon as uh, I get into a battle where it's pertinent to use it, or I start losing enough troops, then yeah. But in the next fight, I will probably do it. And to let you know, there are four different types of enemy forces out there, like, as you see here, this is Rebel Force. There's bandits, pirates, and brigands. I'm not going to go out of my way to show them, but if I run across them, then yeah. I'll just show them to you. They're nothing special. And I'm probably just going to go uh, rest up after this. I'll just show off these abilities. Yeah, have some random use it, just to show it off. I'm not going to have Zhang Fei do it, because he can use it, but it's not really all that important for him. It's 37. That's much better than what he was doing. 46. Very nice. 32. To, uh, oh, not too bad. 19. Song Ren. Your intelligence also does affect how hard it can hit. If it hits at all. But for the most part, I'm not really worried about Song Ren. He's just more of a meat shield for now. He's just going to be there. Oops. Okay, this is what I am going to do now. As soon I am going to go spend the night, then I am going to come back out, and I'm going to get myself up to level 3. And then after that we'll start raiding some castles and encampments. So I will see you in the next video. Alright, y'all have a nice day.